better in the semester. Then, uh, it's a, thank you for coming on Monday, a short notice, uh, but for us, it's very important to uh, share the presence of uh, uh, this now, I consider a very good friend, very good. friend. Uh, Mario uh, Valdez Navia, who is an historian, and uh, AC is a, a writer, an author, and a researcher uh, that has been working for more than three decades uh, in, in issues of of the history of Cuba uh, through uh, the perspective of Jose Marti, um, has been a professor in many uh, important universities in, in Cuba and also in uh, Central America and South America. Uh, professor Valdez uh, is gonna be here with us, uh, joining um, as a visiting professor of Roman, uh, Romance languages uh, uh, and for the National Humanities uh, Center for the years 2023 and 2024 as a scholar uh, in risk by the Scholar Rescue Fund. Uh, and we are very uh, pleased to have him. Uh, and this is the first of many, hopefully, meetings in which we'll update our um, knowledge and engagement uh, with Cuban uh, politics, history, culture. Uh, and thank you very much for being here. It's a great pleasure to have you among us. And uh, we want to do a very friendly, uh, non-threatening uh, introduction of, of, of many others that we'll have. And welcome, you're in the new house. Very appreciate uh, Mario, pleasure to have you. Good afternoon. Close yours. This is a historical day for me. Thanks for coming. This is the my first presentation face to face with the with, with the public speaking in English. Because uh, well, three times uh, before, I, I I made videos in order to participate in events here in America, in in Lassa's events, and in the Congress of the Anthropology Association last year, but never in this in these conditions. And this is not a lecture. This is not a. This is a. Uh, talking with you about the Cuba issues after the 11 July of 2021, of 2021. Sorry, because I don't know if you, if you, uh, if you, if you know uh, something or, or too much about the events of, of July 11, uh, J11 in Cuba in 2021, but uh, this is a very important date in Cuban history. For the first time in 62 years, after the, 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 the triumph of the Cuban revolution, the protesters in 62 different communities, they get out to the, get out to the, to the streets, Sorry. They get out to to protest uh, face to face with the authorities in Cuba. This is something new because in 1994, uh, perhaps uh, 2,000 people in Havana uh, made another protest, massive protest. But uh, this this was uh, in, in, in J11 was uh, something very different because about 50,000 people in 62 different communities in this day, without any plan, without any conspiration, uh, they, uh, Went out to the to the to the streets and go to the government buildings, to the Communist Party buildings, in order to protest face to face by this situation. Uh, the big problem is that from this day to the uh, to 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 the current days, the situation is 
very very poor, very bad, is is a, a situation. The situation in this moment is the total crisis of the model, total crisis of the society, and uh, the repression in 11 July shut the door to the reforms of the model. So in, in some minutes, I'm going to try to, to put in context about the 11 July and the most important goal of this uh, of this talking is the events after the the J11. So I I prepare uh, I prepare some some documents in a file, and they are in the in this in this in this computer. Uh, for example, uh, three months ago. We publish some authors publish a, a book, a digital book about our interpretation of the 11 July, because the government had its own interpretation, of course. Uh, the traditional oppositors of the Cuban regime, uh, they made another interpretation. But the persons who have a, a progressive vision of the of the of the of the of the world, uh, the majority in the left, in the in the Cuban critic uh, left, very different to the to the persons who who follow the Communist Party of Cuba in this moment. Uh, these kind of visions are uh, very strange, very, very strange, because uh, the government considered that all the, the dissidents of the <laughs> government positions are, uh, they call us oppositors, enemies, all traditionally mercenaries of the empire. The empire is the government of US. And the person who belong to this uh, to this position, so progressive or in the left, in the in the critic left, uh, we have a, a few space to 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 explain our positions. So it's a very generous uh, this space. It's very important for me to translate to you our vision, my vision about this, these issues. In, in five decades, the model of the Cuban socialists was building around one person, Fidel Castro. You know the image of Fidel like a like a great leader of the, the of the left in Latin America, the great enemy to the US imperialism, and one of the most important leaders of the Cold Third War in all the planet. But uh, if we analyze in the in the last 10 years of the Fidel life from uh, 2006, they was retired to the to the uh, the leader leadership in Cuba because he was sick, he was ill, and another person, another person, his brother Raúl Castro, and other leaders, they conduct the Cuban business, the Cuban issues uh, from. 2006. So uh, uh, the charismatic leadership of Fidel, uh, this kind of, of government, this kind of, of leadership is not possible to, 
to translate to another person. If you know about the charismatic leadership, you know that the charismatic leadership may be a uh, translate his his authority to the institutional leadership. And it's very important that when in some country, in any country, the the leadership is is this kind of charismatic. It's very important to to build an insti in, a, a strong institutions because when the leader is there, when the leader uh, uh, disappear, it's very important to uh, to have a strange, a strange, a, a, a strong institutions to uh, substitute the charismatic leader. And the problem in Cuba is that this kind of institute, they do not exist in this moment because the, the personal leadership of Fidel uh, acts all. They, 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 they have uh, too, many, too many power that, for example, the Communist Party in Cuba and the Cuban government, the, the, the resources of the Cuban government, uh, they didn't, uh, they didn't uh, work uh, or, or they didn't have real power in Cuba. So uh, the solution of, of the, uh, the group of power who leads the country was uh, in in my criteria, the the worst solution, because the solution was to create an enterprise, a very powerful holding company. Its name is Gaesa, Grupo de Administración Empresarial Sociedad Anónima. It's the military origin, but the the main actionist are persons, not the armed forces in Cuba. So this holding in this moment, they is a, it is the owner of the more than than a half of the national economy, and the the main the main industries. The main enterprise in the country belong to this holding, to this uh, <clears throat> super power, super power enterprise. And you know the situation when a monopoly, an enterprise, a holding is the the the, the main power in one country. All the economy, all the the, the process, the economical and social and political process in the country, depending of the interest of this super superpower monopoly. Uh, the consequence in this moment is that the industry, agriculture, uh, economical service, but the social service, for example, health, education, uh, social security, they are in crisis. They are in absolute crisis. The situation in this moment is poor than that in J11. So uh, the most important consequence is the great exodus, the great emigration of the Cuban people in the last uh, three years, but uh, most from the 11 July, because in an article in in a, in a book that you you could uh, read in this uh, in this carpet, I made an article and the number and the name is the uprising of the ostinated. 
uh, in the Spanish of Cuba, ostinated, ostinate is something like tired, like desperate. This is the 11th July. 11th July, it wasn't a, a, a plan of the American imperialists or the enemies of the Cuban revolution in the shadow, like a, like a theory of, of conspiracy. But when the repression, when the repression charged to the to the to the protesters, and uh, perhaps more or less uh, three three thousand people were uh, in prison. In the, the, the they were accused of different uh, crimes, but five or six months later. Uh, the the uh, the the government accused them to sedition. Sedition is uh, is not is not a normal a normal uh, a normal charge because it's only for for people who 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 belong to the to the to the mysterious to the to the uh, high. Uh, uh, sorry, but I, I I lost any any English word. Ocultas, ocultos plans, hidden plans, uh -huh. hidden, <laughs> hidden hidden plans. And when these people receive this charge, they were <laughs> absolutely lost because they they punish for for sedition. Uh, be, begin in five years in prison, five years in prison to death, to death. So people who go out <laughs> the streets with a with a poster who said, for example, liberty, they could be uh, punished by ten years in prison, ten years in prison, because this this is considered sedition. Uh, this kind of 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 uh, of actions, this kind of uh, repression after the 11 July, they uh, they were a, a terrible a terrible uh, a terrible beat to the uh, these Cuban dissidents. Uh, in this moment, in this moment, uh, the repression is so great, is so big that the Constitution of uh, 2019 and 19 uh, is a dead letter because. In, in 2018, the government, uh, after years of, of, the, of the pronunciation of many authors and many organizations about the about a Cuba, Cuba needs a, a new constitution, a constitution different to the old constitution of the socialist field in Europe, because the, the first socialist constitution in Cuba was made in 1976, when the the socialist the, the, the socialist field in Europe held to Cuba in different ways. But uh, 50 years later, of course, the, the socialist field was uh, destroyed and Cuba con continue to, 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 to follow this old constitution. In 2018, all the Cuban people, the majority of the Cuban people, participate in the building of this constitution, this new constitution. 
uh, and this constitution constitution includes some uh, articles very how to say very progressive perhaps for you is something traditional for example the the declaration to to the Cuban state like a, a state of right it was something new in Cuban constitution because in the uh, bureaucratic socialist system this uh, this pronunciation about the state like a, a state of right it was uh, always uh, prohibido. Forbidden. Uh -huh, forbidden. Because there were not individual rights, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Because because they, they they kind they kind of 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 model of socialism consider that the individual rights, the the human rights uh, exist, but the most important are the social rights. For example, the right to all the people to uh, to uh, help, to uh, work, to study, but individual rights. For example, uh, participate in free election of the of the government or uh, uh, free speech. Free of war, free of uh, free war. Uh, this is a uh, right of the bourgeoisie. Is this right of the of the French Revolution and the American Revolution? But the future belong to the communism. So this kind of rights are something uh, anachronic, and the reality is that. A, a new society without the respect to the human rights, it is not a new society. It's, it's the, 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 the return to the, to the ancient society. For example, uh, slavery, uh, feudalism, and another, uh, all societies. But uh, Back to the to the 2018, this constitution was a, an arrangement, a, an agree between the people and the government, and the government include a, three articles in the constitution: who prepare the future, who prepare the future of the of the of the country, in order to in order to stop any dissident movement. This, uh, these articles uh, are called, uh, I don't know how to say in English, uh, mm -hmm. articles para uh, blindar. To, to strengthen, articles to strengthen. Uh -huh. Articles to, to strengthen or to, to um, to strengthen the, the nation, but para, para blindar la nación, para blindar, para blindar la constitución, to, para oh, to strengthen the constitution. Okay, uh, this these articles uh, shut the door to any kind of reform to the model, because, for example, one of them considered that the socialist is forever. The socialist, the socialist in Cuba is not a topic to discuss. It's not topic to uh, protest. The return to the capitalism is impossible. So this article in the in the letter of the constitution is, is something who shut the, the mouth of any protester of, of, of too many uh, to many people who consider that it's necessary to, to, to have a private property, for example, a private uh, business in Cuba, 
And uh, another article is about the power of the Communist Party. Uh, the the person who leads the the this this uh, massive discourse in Cuba uh, in the in, in the national television declared that the constitution the constitution uh, is not going to to uh, to put conditions to the Communist Party. Do you understand that this kind of people, this kind of person who leads the discussions, the, the discourse around the new constitution, pronounce these words in national television and the many people, uh, many people stay with the, with the open mouths because this is the person who, who needs to defend the human rights. This is the person who needs to, to defend the, the, the rights of the, of the common people. And this, this person is saying that the Communist Party is over the Constitution. So uh, too many authors, too many, too many persons. Uh, like me, for example, write too many articles, too many posts uh, in this in this uh, in this year. And later in two thousand and nineteen, because the constitution immediately uh, stay like a like a day letter. And this is one of the of the. Uh, antecedent most important to the 11th July of 2021. And the most important in this moment is if the, the, the facts of the 11th July and this kind of process, this, this kind of contradiction that I was explaining explain, explain to you, they are continue moving after the 11th July, but they they move his 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 his, his way of of action, and this uh, this dream about the model uh, the 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 Cuban people was able to to become a new model of socialism a new model of society without loss any uh, any uh, uh, any characteristic of the socialists for example the social security the social service the the perspective of of the of the keep the independence the sovereignty of the country uh, but in the same time, uh, a model to open new ways to the human rights, uh, a, a model who, who uh, improve the democracy, the real democracy, for example, free elections in Cuba. These kind of dreams, they, they were a thought, they were the the, and the people, the majority of the people consider that uh, without possibilities to, to, to change this model, the only way is abandon the country, is to emigrate. The conditions to the, to the explosion of the emigra uh, emigration uh, from, from the the 2020 or 2021 until this moment is the defeat of the protest of J11. The surrender of the protesters, 
the repression of the protesters in J11 opened the, the gates to this uh, uh, extraordinary tendency to emigrate in this moment in Cuba. Uh, in the last three years, uh, from 2020 and 2023, half a million of Cuba of, of Cubans are emigrated. Uh, more or half of these three million are here in US in this moment. The majority, of course, in Miami, in Florida, but in the in, in another states, for example, Kentucky uh, or Texas, uh, because Miami is is completely full <laughs> of Cubans in this moment. I don't know if some of you uh, are visiting Miami in the in the in the last in the in the last year. But I know because I have family in Miami, of course. All the Cubans are in, in the island have part of their family in Miami. Uh, and and they told me about the the the, uh, the situation in this moment in this in this city, because it's not only Cubans; it's uh, Asian uh, and other Latin people, Venezuelan, for example, all the Central America. But uh, another consequence, very important, is that the the total crisis of the model. When the, the main uh, economical uh, activities, for example, industry, agriculture, uh, infrastructures, is that correct, this word? Infrastructure, okay? Infrastructures are in, in crisis. They are not able to, to work. Uh, for example, the foods in this moment in Cuba, they are important. The, the, the production of sugar, Cuba, Cuba was uh, called the island of, of, of sugar for, for centuries. In this moment, Cuba is importing sugar for, for, from Brazil, from uh, Venezuela, and from America from US, uh, white sugar is imported from US. It's something uh, crazy, something absolutely crazy. And the, 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 the people of Cuba in this moment is, is suffering uh, a great inflation of the prices. Inflation about three uh, three numbers, three digits, uh, more than one thousand percent. So the Cuban peso, the Cuban currency, is absolutely down, absolutely down. In this uh, before the the. In the in the moment of the of the of the 11 July, one dollar was perhaps 80 Cuban pesos, 80 or 90 Cuban pesos. In this moment, one American dollar is about 255 Cuban pesos. So. The price of any merchandise, the, the price of any service in Cuba, in this moment, in Cuban pesos, is incredible. When, when, I, when the, the, the Cubans obtain the, the salary, the, the, the media of the salaries in Cuba is about uh, 4,000 pesos. With this salary of 4,000 pesos, it's impossible to, to buy the, the foods for one person in two weeks because any of the of the Cuban traditional produce, 
for the agriculture, from the agriculture, in this moment are too expensive, too expensive, because the the formal market is not working. So the informal market is absolutely uh, expensive, uh, and people is living by remesas from the from the from the for the family in, in another countries or for activities in the informal markets. So the 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 immig the emigration of the young people, the emigration of the professionals, professionals, the emigration of wild families, entire families, sorry, entire families is more and more uh, day by day. Uh, I don't know what is the solution. I was uh, writing about the Cuban the Cuban problems by years. Uh, this is why I am here because in Cuba I was uh, went out to the university, went out to the uh, to the research institution, and my ex-wife, uh, in few days, in in November sixteen, uh, she had a, a trial because she is accused, and perhaps uh, she's going to the to the jail, uh, and this is the the real situation in this moment. I think that the only one solution, the only one solution is the, the unification the, between the different organization of the independent, say, independent uh, civil society. But the different groups, the different organization of the independent Cuban uh, uh, civil society in Cuba, Perhaps uh, those uh, the difference between these groups are made are most important for them that the surrender of the Cuban government and the Cuban government sustain in this uh, this situation this in, uh, this. Uh, horrible, awful situation over the people, over the Cubans in the in the emigration, because the 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 the, the, the Cuban emigrants are sustained, are sustaining the, the Cuban government with the with the the remesas to Cuba. But remittances. Uh, remittances. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, no, no, no. yes, it's very good, and and is a few years ago, uh, I uh, my my inconscient inconscient compared the Cuban situation with the Hamas actions in Israel. Because the families in Cuba uh, needs to eat, you know. So the Cuban immigrants they have two two ways to send money to the the to his his familiars or not to send. Not to send them because this is the way to surround the government. But if they don't remit uh, uh, remittance to 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 their families, they are hungry. They are in hungry. So it's like a, a, all the people is like a 
Ale tu se je potra. Tinta, ne? Tinta. You know? It's a bad the positions in Q in in the in the international international organization, the position of the Cuban government defending the independence of the of the little countries, the independence between the great the great countries, for example, America or or Europe, in the international organizations guarantee that. Cuba, for example, belongs to the International uh, Human Rights Council. Council. Cuba was the, the country who obtained the, 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 the major uh, amount of votes to integrate this council. It's extraordinary. I was, I was very surprised because some Cuban independent organizations declare about these issues that I was explaining. And uh, uh, I think that the way to, to superate this, this terrible moment to the Cuban people is going to be the unified, the unification of the, of the organization of the independent uh, civil society, but it's very different. And uh, repression and adoctrination, because the, the uh, more than fast, far, far, half a century of adoctrination of the people is is in, inside the, the brain of different generations. Not only the old generation, no, no, the new generations too. The new, the new generations too. And this, uh, this kind of, of response to this crisis uh, with the emigration, not, not with the fighting face to face to the, to their, to the regime, is part of this alternation. Is part of this, and uh, and this recognition of the Cuban government like a leader of the of the third world in the international issues. This, this, these three uh, factors are uh, stopping the the development of the of the independent civil society in Cuba and uh, 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 shut the doors to any transformation in this moment. This is uh, perhaps a pessimist position, but uh, I, I believe in the evidence. I don't believe in dreams. I am a psychic, a, a scientific. I am not a, I am not a demagogue, you know, a demagogue. Uh, we need organization. We need a, a, how to say brainwashing, brainwashing, brainwashing to 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 the different generations. But it's 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 very different. It's very diff, uh, very hard to do that in Cuba for because only. The, the organizations of the government are authorized to, to work with, 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 with social groups, with people, you know? For example, I lead a project to, to, to face the ex extremism and radicalization into the Cuban society, but I couldn't work with social groups because uh, because it was uh, because uh, they are forbidden in Cuba. So this is the situation after the 11 July and this is the the my point of view uh, I I am very very 
uh, grateful to you. Uh, I I give you my my thanks because uh, uh, you resist my English <laughs> and uh, you pay many attention to this uh, terrible situation to my my country and to my people. But uh, I believe that we are going to find the method. We are going to find the path to superate this this terrible situation. And the and the Cuban people uh, uh, they obtain uh, his 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 dreams about uh, prosperity and and justice, real justice, not this situation. Because in all the all the all the world, Cubans are very good workers. In the only country that Cubans uh, couldn't work is if if is in Cuba. It's something terrible. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. One of the Perhaps things you have too many questions, so um, I'm going to listen to listen carefully. One of the things we want to achieve while Mario is here is that he has been a, a free writer, uh, posting many of these ideas from civil society uh, on on a on a blog, the uh, Hoven Cuba, and because of that work in part. Uh, there was a public work uh, with signing with his name, with other uh, fellow uh, friends, intellectuals. Uh, he was signaled to identify, and then that's why he is here. Right? Uh, he has written many essays, and it will be great if, if during this year, during the time you are here, we can we are able to translate them. Uh, he is going to be developing a book, a book proposal. Uh, setting a little bit of, of this context and new paths for, for a new Cuba. Uh, but uh, he's given us all these materials for us to interact with, uh, to help translate, uh, to learn about uh, this, uh, what is happening in Cuba. But uh, questions or comments are welcome uh, in English and Spanish, uh, Portuguese, 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for your uh, presentation and for giving us like the overview about the, the current situation in Cuba. I think it's like a very painful, but uh, yeah, uh, we are happy that you are here.